Welcome to March Madness Minute number 11. Today we're going to look at Google Docs add-ons. Add-ons are a way for you to download additional software to your Google Docs so that you can customize your experience for your individual needs. So we're going to install an add-on and then we'll look at how you activate and use them. So I'm going to click on add-ons at the top ribbon and get add-ons is close to the bottom. If you download something and you don't care for it, you can go to manage add-ons to delete it. So we're going to go to get add-ons and I can browse by all the categories or I can select for business or education. So we can click on education. And if I find something that I'm interested in, I can see check mark means I've already downloaded it. Um, this GMath one looked interesting. I can click on it and now I can see screenshots of what it looks like. I can read the overview and read reviews as well. So this one looked pretty interesting. So I can click the free button. And it's letting me know to actually be able to work, it's going to need to access some things in my Google Docs. So I'm going to go ahead and give that one access. And now if I go to Get Add-ons, here we go, GMath is being added. And so I only have to install it one time, and now it's from my list to choose from. So we're going to look at EasyBib first. EasyBib would be great for students to install and I then click on Manage Bibliography. So your add-ons are going to show up on the far right and EasyBib allows me to cite my work and I can do MLA, APA, or Chicago style. So I'm going to do MLA and I don't have my ISBN number with me but I can put in uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. It's going to let me know all the different versions. So I'm going to choose one here, 1999. So I'm going to select it and add my, add this to my bibliography. So here it made a works cited page. It made it an awfully large print because that must have been the size font I ended with, but I can go ahead and adjust that. So now I have my works cited page and I can continue to add to that. When I'm done using it, I can go ahead and close it. So that's one really good uh, add-on. Another one that I think is helpful, especially for teachers, is Clipboard. And Clipboard is just a way for you to hold comments that you use over and over. So if I was giving the student comments, I might just want to write comments at the bottom. And you can create comments that you use over and over. Um, so I've made a comment, I've created it, and now I can use it. So I can insert, and then it's just going to show up down here. So you can go through all of your com comments uh, to make it individualized then for your own students. So that was Clipboard and EasyBib for add-ons. Thanks and have a great day.